G'day guys, welcome back to Bullion Collector Coins. It's Will here. I just want to show you something that I've uh, discovered or just want to share with you what I've, what I've learnt with regards to what I've been collecting. Um, you know, I've been stacking silver and uh, and collecting bullion coins since 2017. So it's about, just about seven years. Um, and there's lots of videos out there on different topics of opinions, what to collect and what not to collect. But I just want to show you what resonates with me. There is a saying that I do try um, to continually to repeat, and that is, if you don't love it online, don't buy it. And what I mean by that is, you know, I'm a big believer in first impressions. Uh, I guess what things that attract to me are presentation, colors, uh, graphics on the coin, level of detail. So I want to show you something here. What I'll put up on the screen here is the 2024 colored emu coin. Now, I didn't buy this coin. Okay, it's been out for about three weeks. It's March 2024. It's been out about three weeks from Perth Mint. You can still buy it online for $100 Australian, which I do think is a great is great value. Um, you know, they are even selling more than that online, right? So I didn't buy one, so I don't have one physically to show you. In my hand, what I have here is a 2023 colored emu. Now, when this coin came out, as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. Okay, now, both of these coins, the 2023 and the 2024, there's only 2,500 minted worldwide. That's it, only 2,500. So they're not thousands and thousands and thousands of these, or 20,000, 50,000 of these getting around. It's still only 2,500, so they very are much a very limited value, you know, or a very limited coin to collect. Now, first impressions, I'll show you something here. Now, the picture I'll put up again is the 2024. It looks great. It's exactly how you would see an emu out in the wild. You know, the mother emu protecting its chicks in the outback, or if you're flying down the highway, you look out to a paddock, sometimes you may see an emu. That's exactly how it would look. And the designers of these coins are different designers. They both did a phenomenal job. So the 2024 coin really captures how it would look out in the bush. Okay, well done. Look, looks amazing. But for me, I didn't, I didn't buy it because I'm like, well, it didn't attract me, okay? I feel like it's just probably, I don't want to say the word boring, okay? Because it did capture how it looks in the wild. It did a, they did a phenomenal job at that. But this coin here, what I'll show you in my hand, is a 2023 coin. Now, packaging's pretty standard. Perth Mint do a great job with their packaging. I'll take this out of here. And yes, I'll wear the, you know, you know I'll wear the black latex gloves because like, you can't grip these packages wearing the white, uh, the white cloth gloves. Here we go, this is the plastic film on the on the front uh, cover there. Just twist off, it's three magnets, off it comes. Certificate of Authenticity, here we go. Nothing too flash, you know, you think, oh yeah, just a, you know, the emu looking at you with his, you know, with his eyes and his beak there. Okay, found only in Australia, the emu is the world's second largest bird. Okay, it also sits on our coat of arms. The male emu, two meters tall. Okay, and again, this is the four nines, two and a half thousand minted. And check this out. Isn't it nice when they include the Perth Mint logo to these uh, protective cushions, the packaging? I love the gold logo. I don't know, it looks great there next to the tiger as well. So I think that is just fantastic. Every time you go through a, you know, a level of layers, it's pleasing to the eye. So I like it when they do that. Sometimes they don't include the logo. Here we go, I'll get this out of the way. Now, I must admit, I did have a quick sneak peek of this coin before I'm doing this video because I wanted to see if I could actually show you the colors um, on the camera. It's difficult to show them on, on the camera lens. So here we go, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. Now, beautiful, I love this coin. Gold, amber eye, beautiful coin. Well, that's the male emu, two meters tall. Let me pull this out of here real quick and I'll show you. If I, can, if I can get this in the, in the right light. Here we go. This is the colors I wanted to show you. Look at this. Now, I'll go a bit, a bit closer. Check out. I, I have a little uh, little light here as well for display, but I don't want to glare everybody. Look at the colors on this. That is amazing. It shimmers in the light. The feathers. Um, it's a beautiful emu. Right, unbelievable. And I, I know I have it here on a massive angle here to try and show you. But look at that. 
Look at that, that's unbelievable. That's why I had to get this coin. When this came out in 2023, okay, this coin sold out, I think probably within, within about a week. Okay, two and a half thousand sold out within a week. First impressions count. Okay, the 2024 is still available to buy online. You know, it's March 2024, three weeks later after their launch, about three weeks, and it's still available. And yes, they are selling for more than retail online. Okay, so this particular coin as well is up around the 150, 160 dollar mark as well, and it's climbing. So, you know, it's everybody has their own opinions of what they like to collect. Personally, I love this coin. Like I said, nothing against the designers. You know, I think they've done a great job capturing how an emu looks. For me, this coin looks amazing. So, you know, it's just what I just what I, I observe. So, the coin has come out. And it's two and a half thousand minted, and it's still sitting around for a week or so. To me, I'm like, well, what, what's going on? You know, there's only two and a half thousand of these. You know, a good example at the moment is the 2024 Coloured Swan. You know, only 1,500 minted, and within about 24 to 48 hours, that thing was gone. You could not buy that. That was sold out. And again, yes, I know when new releases come out, there's scalpers out there. You know, people who just want to buy a couple of them and flip them. I get it. it it's you know, it's it's fair game. Um, but once these coins find their rightful homes, okay, and they end up with collectors who will never get rid of them, so this coin is going to go in my collection. Look at that. That's just great. This coin, I'm not going to get rid of this coin, okay? This is going to go to my family. So this coin is going to be, be with me so forever. So, look, once they find their rightful homes, there's less of them available to buy, okay? Where there's a supply that you know, pushes supplies low, and demands high, it pushes the prices high. Okay, and if you're new to silver stacking, sure, stack some silver. And again, my advice is, if you're gonna stack silver, don't stack the boring stuff. That, that's what I mean. Don't stack the boring one ounce coins. Stack the coins where there's limited mintages of them. Sure, 50,000 doesn't, 50,000 50, coins still sounds like a lot if it's 50,000 minted. But you know, the 20,000, 25,000 minted or 8,000 minted, if you can get them for a dollar more than spot, you know, or a little bit more, than just a standard coin, it's worth it because in years to come, guys, right, they're not going to be readily available to buy, and there's going to be a collective value to, uh, to these particular coins. So, look, have a great week. Enough from me, I, I don't like rambling on too much, but you can see I'm passionate about these collector coins because you know there's a value to them, you know, and I love building my collection. I'll, I've got more coming in, I'll try and also get some uh, gold coins. I have a couple of gold coins, but they're just, they're just the standard one ounce coins. Um, but I'm, I'm getting some collector coins in. Uh, but uh, I've got to be very selective with what I buy. You know, you, at the moment, gold in Australia today, you, you know, is about three and a half thousand dollars Australian for a one ounce, one ounce gold coin. You know, the size of your thumbnail. You know, th you know, three and a half thousand dollars. You know, silver is so fun. You know, it's fun to collect because it's an affordable precious metal. Anyone can get into silver. I'm not saying you know, no one can get into gold, but you know, you drop, you know, you buy three or four ounces of gold. You know, there's <laughs> significant amount of money just sitting there so for me be selective with what you buy um, and still buy the coins that resonate with you you know if you're a bird lover like, like i've said you collect the emus the swans the eagles the kookaburras whatever you're going to buy so um, buy what you like it doesn't matter what it's worth because you're building your collection and it's valuable to you so um, enough from me thanks very much have a great week guys i will look those colors on this emu are beautiful. You can see why I love this coin. Yes, it is amazing. Um, and I'm glad I could get this angle on camera. I was worried I couldn't show you this. But have a great week. I'll get some more videos out again. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Peace.